Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this month of February 24th, Thursday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity with thankfulness from our heart. Let us worship and praise Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Last full morning, our Lord who protected us, let us lift a hand and tell Him, thank you. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. The Lord who gave us a good sleep last night, let us lift a hand and thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. With good health and healing, the Lord who woke us up, let us lift a hand and tell Him, thank you. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This morning, Father, you who is holding your hand and leading us for your mercy and grace, thank you. Hallelujah. Father, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for protecting us. We tell you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. We worship you. We praise you. We give you all the glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we lift your name on high. Father, we lift your name on high. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 57, Verse number 8, Awake my glory, awake lute and harp, I will awaken the dawn. Verse number 9, I will praise you, O Lord, among the peoples, I will sing to you among the nations, for your mercy reaches unto the heavens, and your truth unto the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be above all the earth. Let us lift a hand and together say, Hallelujah. Verse number 11, Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be above all the earth. Once again, let us say, Be exalted. Exalted, O God, above the heavens, let your glory be above all the earth. Let us pray together. Let us all close our eyes and with one heart, one unity pray. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful, blessed morning, thank you. Abba, Father, last night, you protected us. Father, thank you. Last morning, you took care of us. Father, thank you. This morning, for waking us up. Thank you. Father, this morning, for holding your hand, for your mercy and grace, we tell you, thank you. Abba, in the name of Jesus Christ, we look onto thy face. We know very well, you will not allow our face to be put to shame. Everyone, Lord, who looks onto your face will be enlightened. Thank you for enlightening our face. Father, this morning. We worship you. We praise you. We tell you thank you. Father, for the authority you have given us and you have delivered us and made us into your kingdom. Father, we tell you thank you through Jesus Christ. Father, this morning we tell you thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Father, this morning, all who are hearing this voice today, we give it into thy wonderful hands. Father, bless them and let their family life be blessed. The children you have given be blessed. The workplace. Let them be a miracle. Father, godly intervention. Let it happen in their life. Father, you who place a table before the enemies, you who anoint your children before their friends. Father, thank you for honoring and lifting your children. Father, thank you for lifting and honoring your children. Father, this morning, all who are suffering from sickness, we give them into thy hands. In the name of Jesus, let them be healed. Father, those who have got a problem in the throat, in the name of Jesus, let them be healed. Those who are suffering from ulcer, in the name of Jesus, this morning, let them be healed. Every pain in their body, be gone. Wherever you have got pain, lay your hand and say, in the name of Jesus, let the pain be gone. Let every swellingness be gone. In the name of Jesus, let the pain be gone. Every swelling be dried up. In the name of Jesus, Father, give them complete health restoration. Give them joy. Joy, peace and happiness we pray. Father, especially, Father, your mighty works to see these days. Father, give us all the great privilege for that. Hallelujah, Father, the workplace. Let your mighty work be revealed. Father, at the right time to get the right job. Help them, Lord. Father, in business, let there be upliftment. Father, in families, let there be peace. In the need of the children, let your intervention be there. Father, this morning, Father, to live in happiness, in peace and joy, and to live in hope in you. Help them, Lord. 
Father, we give tomorrow's church meeting into thy hands. Father, your great works, your great glory to see, Father. Help us, Father. Thank you, Father, for hearing our prayer. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, and amen. Let the Lord bless you all abundantly, abundantly this morning. Let the grace, the peace, and the glory of the Lord increase in your life in abundance, I pray. And let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Today further, we are going to meditate from the book of Luke, chapter 11, verse 34. The lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Dear children of God, many a times we hear the word of God literally dealing with the tongue. But Jesus Christ in his ministry, public ministry in Luke eleven thirty four, said the lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. Just think, hallelujah, hallelujah. If our eyes is darkness, the whole body sees darkness. But if a light is seeing light, if our eye is seeing light, our whole body will be enlightened. But if our eyes is blurred, the whole body also will be leading in that direction. But here the word of the Lord is saying the lamp of the body is the eye. That is why Paul the Apostle is saying in Ephesians 1 17, it says that the God of of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Hallelujah. So what is it that has to be enlightened? The eyes of understanding. Lift your hand and say, the eyes of my understanding should be enlightened. So it is the eyes of a heart that has to be enlightened. Hallelujah. The heart of our heart should be filled with the word of God. Our heart should be filled with the revelation of the word of God. And when your heart is filled in that manner, everything will be light before us. We, God has called us to be a miracle, not to live in darkness. Hallelujah. He has called us to live in that supernatural life. That is why Paul the Apostle prayed that our eyes of understanding should be enlightened. Hallelujah. And when our heart is enlightened, in every situation, we will be able to see things clearly. And when we see it in that manner, we don't face the darkness, but we see the light of the Lord. Hallelujah. In Psalms 119, verse number 105, the Holy Spirit has written, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Let me read that again. Psalms 119, verse 105. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Daddy, your word is a lamp to my feet. Hallelujah. That I would not fall somewhere. That I would see a wrong route and fall trip over. No, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Hallelujah. Flooded with light. Full of light is the word of God. So how much the word of God is inside of us. Not just by, by hearting the word. But the word of God should be a revelation in our life. And when it is a revelation according to that. Our light, our life would become more and more light. And it would shine forth more and more. So according to how the eyes of our heart is open. We will start living in the light. In the same Psalms, Psalms 119, verse 130 says, The entrance of your words give light. According to how the word enters into my heart, it gives light. The word of God, according to how it is a revelation into our heart, it will become more enlightened, more enlightened, more enlightened. It gives understanding to the simple. The word of God, when it enters inside of us, how Jesus saw, we will start seeing. How Jesus reacted, we will start reacting. Jesus and his disciples, when they were joining on the boat and when the boat started sinking and shaking because of the wind and the storm, the disciples of Jesus Christ, because they did not have the revelation of the word, they started crying and panicking. But Jesus said, Storm, be still. See, be still. 
dear children of god when the word of god enters into our heart we will start thinking how jesus thought and we will start seeing how jesus saw and we will start speaking how jesus spoke this is how we train ourselves spiritually by the word of god hallelujah yesterday our pastor spoke hallelujah Dear children of God, when problems, difficulties and challenges come, the word of God says, those who love the Lord, those who are called according to his plan, everything happens for the good. Behind all this, what you are going through right now, before your challenges, God has got a plan. Hallelujah. We should believe and speak out that God's plan will work out in my life. So it is the word of God that enlightens your heart. And when your heart is enlightened by the word of God, what an ordinary person don't see, don't speak or think, a child of God will start seeing, speaking and thinking. So this is what the Holy Spirit is saying. Let the eyes of our heart be opened. How? By the word of God. By the word of God, our inside heart should be opened. So what will happen? Our situations, we will not see like how the ordinary person sees, but we will see like how Jesus Christ sees. Hallelujah. So this morning, let us all together pray, Father, open the eyes of our heart to see how we have to see, like how you see, Lord, like how you react, Lord. Father, help us and teach us. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Father. Let a heart be overflowed with your word. Father, let a heart be filled with the revelation and overflowing of your word. Thank you for performing through us. Let your grace prevail upon us in abundance. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. In the name of Jesus, we will grow, we will increase, we will multiply, and we will become great. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah.